All Lives Matter, 1800s edition. Just because I own slaves doesn't mean I'm racist. I don't even see color. You're actually racist for being slaves. My closest friends are my house Negroes. Look, I didn't ask to have all this cotton. Okay, no white person alive today planted the cotton. Those seeds were buried in the past. This, the 1800s, is the present. And if slaves really hate cotton as much as they say they do, how come they're all wearing it, huh? Huh? Yeah, exactly. Nobody's innocent. This is the fabric of all our lives. You know what really just, God, just shines my shoes? <laughs> This whole Black Lives Matter movement, do you really think this is the dream from the speech Lincoln gave at Gettysburg? Real racism ended back with the three-fifths compromise. We're post-racial. We had our first black overseer. Look, at this point, slavery is a choice. Yeah, slavery is a choice. If you didn't want to get locked up, you should have kept running after we captured your wife. No one forced you to run back, make good decisions, or face the consequences. Blacks are 99% more likely than whites to try and escape north. But oh, that's racist for stating facts. What are you people gonna realize? Underground railroads only create racial divide. And why? We're all red on the inside. Look at your brother's body. That rope doesn't make his neck any different than mine. My accountant hung himself, so we're all struggling with something. Don't judge a book that you're not allowed to read because my house is like 10 stories tops. The real masters live up in the mansions. I'm a slave like you. Only through love and workings together can we get our emancipation, our 40 acres, our mule. I really need a 50th mule. Free the people, how about we the people? Black Lives Matter, how about all? Lives matter. So this is the awkward part of the show where I...